I gotta say it. I'm tired of this shit. Tired in queue doing this shit. Tired of fucking 15 point pullback for one fucking can. I'm trying to get in, tired of getting into a trend. And then it pulls back 20 points. I can't handle it anymore. So uh, I'm doing a little swap and getting a uh, bit of a divorce from NQ. Yeah, I know everybody's a fucking expert. It's because of summer. Don't trade in summer. Don't trade in winter. Don't trade in January. Oh, God, don't trade in November. You got thanks. Oh, don't trade in December. Like, I followed y'all's rules. I'd be trading three days a fucking month. All right, look at this. The four, don't trade on Fridays. Oh, no, Mondays are the worst. Okay, and, but I, I can't fucking take it anymore. I can't fucking take it anymore. All right, um, I've invented the four horsemen. The four horsemen are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, basically, you have uh, YM. YM uh, from CBOT is the main meat and potatoes here. You also have ES. ES is going to be kind of a sloppy second. I realize the same as, you know, uh, in Q, don't even fucking type it. I realize that. But ES is, has a little bit more stability uh, involved with that. Over here, we have gold. And then we have oil on the bottom. Okay. So let's go over these one by one. The first thing we have is uh, this is basically a shitload of paid indicators. I have Trader Smarts indicators. I have Lux Algo. And also have the entire Quant View suite kind of in here. We also have Lux Algo Screener. Give me a little bit of move on the VIX, a little bit of a move on the three minute for all these major things. So what are these for, right? Well, ES is kind of a slumpy seconds. So I'll use it if nothing else is going on. Primary focus here is going to be YM, which is the uh, CBOT, the Dow. I'm just looking for trends here. And YM just has some great trends. And I just really, really like how good uh, some of these YM trends are. They just keep rocking, keep going. And uh, they don't seem to give a shit about that. So let's look over here. Once I... Um, once I have something that I do want to actually trade here, I'm going to come over here and uh, I have a keyboard maker, a little switch between the four. So just boom, 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 boom. So this is just a keyboard macro. Obviously, I made it with uh, fucking Via uh, on a, uh, made it with a Via on here. So anyway, uh, it's just hotkey. So this is uh, first window. Second window, third uh, third window, and fourth window. So first window is going to be YM. Obviously, if I want to trade it, but I'm uh, going to come over here and click it. It's on the hot hot links there, and then I'm going to go ahead and trade it. So the alerts that I kind of have set up on the four horsemen are from Lux Algo, and we have a Lux Algo candle coming up here, and got some beautiful stuff. Let me expand this a little bit so you can see it better. And we just have some great trends that I got in. We have a beautiful trend coming off the EMA 200, which is this. I didn't need to change this to blue, which is normally my VWAP. That's going to be fucking confusing for me. But, you know, I don't care. I don't care. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, coming off of the EMA 200 here. Then we have some red. We also have some red over here. A little bit of action. And then we're pushing the envelope. When I say envelope, this right here is the opening range. And I can change this to circles to make it a little bit easier. So the first hour opening range is here. And you can see the top is there. The bottom is here. And then we're sort of pushing through for the first time kind of this little open. We're pushing it a little bit of a Doncian channel. Things going over here at 907. So... Go over here to my top step, switch over to YM, which is the first key, and I see that we do indeed have some decent looking action here, and um, yeah, it's only one minute. We do have some decent looking action here, and I'm going to hang on and get on to this trend. Hop in here, we have a beautiful candle, we've got a good candle here. Um, we do have the, uh, uh, you'll see here that my super trend. Is actually activated. By the way, I have McKinley Dynamic on a 14. I got the standard VWAP. I got a moving average. Got a standard EMA 200. And um, uh, that's pretty much it. And then over here is the comma chameleon, a period of nine moving average adaptive. So this is a trend. So I'm going to go ahead and get in it. I'm going to add on this pullback. Got a strong candle off the pullback. I'm going to add. 
Got a strong candle off of a pullback here up to the gold line, which is the comma I'm going to add. We're sort of evening out here a little bit. And um, so we're evening out, evening out, and I'm not really going to add anymore. Just evening out, evening out, evening out. And then the minute we actually cross the comma, I'm going to get out. We cross the comma back in here, bouncing off of, again, the McKinley dynamic at 14. We have a beautiful signal candle here. I'm going to go ahead and grab back in. And then again, we're sort of creeping up, creeping up. Uh, reject it, reject it, strong candle. I'm going to stay in. And then right here, we cross the comma and we get McKinley dynamic. We're coming together. I'm going to go ahead and get out as it crosses right there. So that's my trend for the first hour. And it's just a beautiful trend. There's no... 20 point pullbacks, there's nothing like that. And, you know, I'm continually in shopping mode here. Um, so the next big pattern that I saw would be gold. So what I do with gold, gold is, uh, is a, a big trend rush, you know, adrenaline rush, some shit's going on here. We got a sell signal. Let's pretend I wasn't in the YM stuff. You got a sell signal here at like 930. So I'm going to come over here to my top step I'm going to go over here into 930. That's gold. That's going to be number three. And uh, now I'm in gold. And uh, we're good to go. So gold at 930 has a beautiful push down here. I'm going to get in. And gold is a, is a rush. Gold is a rush. It's an adrenaline rush. You have a super trend activation at that 927. 930, strong candle. Add, 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 add. Pull back, strong candle. Add. Strong candle, strong candle, strong candle. A little bit of a pullback to the, again, moving average adaptive at nine. Add, 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 add. And then we kind of start going sideways right here. So no more add. Or you can, you know, just sort of hang out until it crosses the comma, which happens right here and right here. And that's when I would get out. Again, gold is surges. Let's pretend that I wasn't in the YM. So oil, let's not even talk about ES. You know, ES can just eat a dick. I, oh, okay. Oil is a bouncer. Oil is a bouncy bouncy. I'm going to, I'm going to capture the bounces. I'm going to capture the bounces. And I did capture a bounce for quite a bit of money right here. So this right here is uh trader smarts lines. If you're a subscriber, let me know. I can get you a, uh, the, I can get you the uh, trading view uh version where you just paste in you paste in your trader smarts uh your paragraph and then boom it's got the lines but what you'll notice over here is this bounce to the pixel to the wick to the pixel off of the long this is a trader smarts long line and so i got into that and i just cashed the fuck out of that man the minute it started doji and i just got out and that was just pure cash, right? Come up here. We're bouncing off the EMA 200. Again, just, just to piss everybody off, I'm going to put that, uh, I'm going to put that uh, in this color here. Yeah. And um, we're coming up at EMA 200. Got a trampoline. We have a Lux, or sorry, a Q grid from the Quant View continuation. Waited for the cross, the EMA right here, which is the EMA 21. And it comes back, tries to cross it, cross it, cross it, can't get back over it. And then boom, big signal. And that is it. Get out at the Trader Smarts long line. Get in another long for like a couple of 50 bucks and uh, just make it happen. Anyway, so uh, if you don't have all of these paid indicators, I came up with a free version for you. Uh, I call it instead of the Four Horsemen. I call it on a pale horse. So a pale horse uses similar, similar stuff. We go over to YM. <laughs> And again, we're just kind of shopping, right? We're just kind of shopping for something to do. And this one contains uh, Nebula Luxury, which is basically Nebula built for um, uh, non-traditional stuff. You got the Ultimate Buy Sell Indicator uh, tweaked, and you got the TO Method. Got a couple of EMAs, Opening Range and Order Bubbles. I'll set up for you on a pale horse. Uh, so Opening Range is the top here. Opening Range is the bottom here. So Dale... In my Discord, did post a, uh, a some statistics that it reflects the opening range uh, seventy percent of the time. So there's a good chance once the opening range is established, which is from eight thirty to nine thirty first hour uh, in Central, whatever. Um, then then it's going to respect that. And you kind of see that too as we came up here. We tried to get back up above the opening range. We bounced back down, and I got some money 
out of that as well. So this contains the ultimate buy signal. You have a buy signal here. Uh, you have a sell signal here. You can see where it says the S. You have a vodka shot right here, which is a sell signal. You have the watt explosion. By the way, I tweak the shit out of the watt explosion for each individual asset. You are getting a tweaked watt explosion for this asset, for this YM Dow asset. We're underneath the EMA. We're far beyond the 21 EMA. We're pushing the envelope here, kind of like a Doncian channel action here with this vodka shot sell signal here, a sell signal right there, looking really nice. Come back up, start to get some green hollow nebula candles. I'm out. A new sell signal candle here from the ultimate. And then we have a buy signal, buy signal. You got a vodka shot and you have a, um, and you have a, Green divergence, and then um, vodka shot comes in here and agrees. We cross the EMA, and that's a good long. You know, you're not getting rich off the fucking long. Good fucking long. Uh, you're not just gonna be independently wealthy from the fucking long. But it's a good long over here on ES sloppy seconds. You do have a divergence right here with a buy signal. Come up here to the top of the sort of the range, the envelope. <clears throat> you got a divergence here. Wait for it to cross the EMA. Here's your vodka shot signal. Boom. Lots of easy money. Divergence here coming up, retrying the uh, 21 EMA. Failed it. Come back down here. Another divergence. Reach out the top of the range. Sell signal. A little bit of a sale, sale signal. Got a trampoline. Got a divergence. Got a vodka shot by. Boom. <laughs> cross that EMA and then up we go. So ES is still possible. It's just a sloppy second. I got, I'm looking for main trend. YM. Main trend YM is my focus. And then if anything else comes up, I'll take it. Gold is going to be, you know, just a, uh, you have just a flash in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and grab in it because again, it doesn't have this bullshit in Q action that I've been seeing here. Again, another sell signal from the vodka shot under the EMA. Water is bright, fucking red. And then boom, I come down here. We're hitting a pivot point. This is a pivot point from the TO method. You'll see uh, show pivot points. And then we have a trampoline buy signal. Boom, up we go. That's going to be some easy gold action for you over there. And again, we have oil. Oil is all about the balances. Again, uh, the water explosion candles have been tweaked to fuck for this particular thing. Coming up here, we're bouncing off of the EMA, the EMA 200. Let me make it blue just to piss all you off because that's normally my VWAP. And, and uh, yeah, you got a trampoline. You got a cell signal behind the trampoline. And then down it goes. We cross the EMA, retest it. Got a vodka shot. Boom. Buy signal with a trampoline. Got some green candles. Let the green candles cross the EMA right here. Got a vodka shot confirmation. Coming up here, sucking the cock of this pivot point, and then down back we go. So this is all about just sort of getting the ricochets, getting the balances, getting stuff uh, going in here, and uh, just having some options if you want to have some options. And, uh, you know, it's just about me trying to do something other than NQ, getting a little bit of a divorce, not going to lie, a little bit of a divorce here. If NQ just comes over, and I know a lot of y'all got to type up, you know, NQ, NQ is moody. It is, but there's a certain point where I just rather just make easier money. YM gives me the easy money. YM gives me the easy money. Gold surges give me the easy money. Oil balances give me some easy money. Am I going to make? Am I going to make? absolute just amazing in Q moves like some days where it goes straight up and it only has like one red candle and a green trend hey i'll switch to NQ for that but for this this gives me other options and i like it so uh, i will share a link in the description for on a pale horse um the four horsemen is private because it's all these fucking paids Really don't want to share it because you'll need just a shitload of paid stuff to get into it. But uh, I do give you a better option uh, for free with On a Pale Horse. Link in the description. And uh, thank you for watching.